then there's a culture penalty because there's a difference between the Roman buildings and the barbarian buildings. So this place is done. Let's see what we can build next. Trade's going up. So is administration. Let's build the walls. The barricade. Barricade. How do you say it? Stockade. I thought a stockade had to do with boats. Whatever. See, this place is getting happier. Penalty went down a little bit, I think. Salvik are finally moving, so we're going to move up this army. Give them their first bit of action. We're gonna move up our spy to Campus Quadi. Oh, they got some... Quite a few units there. So apparently the Romans are getting their butt kicked by the, um... Your Honor. By the Sarmatians. Yes, my lord. That's still Roman. Let's look up Watch. here. No more moves. Look at all that trade. Huh. So, either the Sarmatians or the Franki are going to be attacked by the Salvic. And if they don't, then, well, they're running from my army. They know what's coming up. General, orders forward. Out of moves. Uh, get this built for next turn. Yeah, the Sarmatians laid siege. Gladly. And then trade rights. It's always good to have trade while you can. Pull down the fort. Yes. Destroy. I'm going to try to be siege or siege these guys out just because I hate you losing units. Kill them. I know I probably won't lose a whole unit, but I hate you. I hate it when there's like 150, 161, and I'm missing that one unit, one soldier. Oh great, the Huns are fleeing again. They're over here. So they're either going to go to Spain or they're going to go to my territory. And it looks like they're going to my territory. Or the Franks. Interesting if they go into Italy. Here. There's a lot of squalor. Huge income. So we'll build farms. Crop rotation. Build the shipwright. Going down again, why? Entertainment's going up. We should probably have that be building. Because money's not really a problem. We're making negative 200, but this is a big city, so they're giving us a large profit. Or not profit, but a large income regardless. But the penalty and the uprest. The uprest, the culture, the capital, and squalor is really making our public order go down. And if we lose that city, it will either be given to the Eastern Roman... To the Western Roman... Western Romans or the Western Roman rebels and both of those they'll have really strong units they'll be really hard to take back awaiting your command at once at once no more moves so it looks like everything's going well right now let's just end the turn Yeah, the Salvic are definitely going to take the Frankie. If the Huns take out the Frankie, the Frankish, whatever, Frankie, Frankish, then that'll create a lot of problems, for me at least, because then in the middle, like, here's my land. In the middle, right here, there will be a giant Hun army, the giant Salvic army, and a giant Frankish army. And when a when a faction goes into horde mode, it's hi. Let's just say they're very annoying, and they will not die. So the Western Romans are gone, or the Western Roman rebels. Let's build archery range. Terra hunting hunts Hunsdren. Hundredman Hall and then Royal Stables. Let's go with the infantry. Londinium. 
get the happiness to go up because there's a huge pen no there oh yeah there is a huge penalty here probably from this um temple for now i'm going to get a few more units of infantry but i'll do the same thing that i did in sambrovia which is destroy the archery range the stables the temple the forum and the barracks just that way i can increase happiness oh i should destroy the arena it does make the public order go down for this turn, but for the culture penalty, it'll make it go down also, so it's worth the trade-off. Just because the, um, with the arenas, they can only make you, your guys get so happiness in exchange for the culture penalty. Let's move our, oh no, our spy is in here, isn't he? I've never had a spy in a city while it's besieged, so let's see what happens if the city's taken. Orders. You know let's what? Kill them. Let's have these guys attack that city Settlement next turn, if we can. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've had a successful Saxon campaign. I've never been able to, well, survive really, like... I always try to expand, and then the and then the um, Salvic or the Huns come and they just take me out like right away. My leader died. It's all right. Chatty, campus chatty. Oh, building finished there also. So here, let's start doing that stuff that we talked about. Uh. We, I just destroyed, like, everything. It'll be worth it when the culture penalty is at least a 5% just because of these indestructible buildings. This should be going up. We're just like, we're barbarianizing this entire area. Which is really what happened in the time periods. They destroyed Settlement the Roman siege. buildings Orders. to make way for their Attack. own buildings. Settlement under siege. Now granted, you could have more than one barracks in a city, but they didn't do that. In this game, at least. So it looks like we'll be able to go as far south as Campus Quadi. Kill them. Yeah, we should be able to take this, so... I'm going Orders. to... Look over the settlement details. And then I'll attack it. So Sembrovi got that done, Londinium got the tavern done. They should get the temple, shrine built next turn. And then everything should be good from there. Augustica. I, yeah, Augustica is upset for whatever reason, let's see. Same thing, culture. Destroy the hydrome. Destroy the catapult range. The armory. And that's all we can do. Looks like, at least. Culture penalty should go down. Let's check out this city. Oh, they have an academy. Should we keep that? Due to law. Yeah, law adds 10%. Let's see if that's a good trade-off or not. So we'll destroy the armory. Stable. Shipwright. archery range and because this place is pretty happy even with these buildings destroyed gotta wait for that thing to finish and because this place is happy even with those buildings destroyed we'll also destroy the legendary barracks that sound is just like the most annoyingest thing in this game and then we'll build first the shipwright 
and then the muster field, then the blacksmith, stables, and the archery range. Actually, let's make the archery range first because I use archers a lot more than cavalry. It's a mistake, but that's how I do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now let's attack the city. We got two peasants, one spear warman, two chosen warlords, so this actually might not work out with these guys. We'll have reinforcements, let's take them off the um, AI control. And then we also got a Lombard Archer group. So let's start. I'll see you on the campaign map. Or, I'm sorry, I'll see you on the battle map. Today is a good day to die. Today is a great day to meet the gods. So let us send the enemy screaming to meet their gods today. Bravery is in every warrior's heart. Bravery and more. Every warrior knows bravery and knows that he who runs answers not only to me, but to the gods. I'm sorry guys, I need to check something, I'll be back. Sorry again about that, I'm back and let's see how we're doing. So we have roughly 700 soldiers and we got one with the ram, two just standard infantry, well for the Saxon standard. And there's not really much deployment we can do. Why can't I control these guys? Bizarre, but okay. Thought I, I thought I clicked not to be controlled by the AI. Whatever they're doing, at least they're not getting my guys killed. Yet. The AI is horrible at controlling it. have reached the enemy gate with the ram! The gate awesome. is broken! Your warriors have done brave work with the battering ram! Our warriors have taken the walls! Now the streets will run with blood! Why can't I go in? <laughs> it won't let me move my camera in. Let's run these guys. And the other two will have to stand behind them. Okay, now I'll let me in. Oh, these are just archers. Should work out perfectly fine. What's up with their hairs? That's what I want to know. Like, they look fine from the very, very front. But then you go to the side and it's just like, what happened? Let's fast, for fast forward a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, the AI is controlling my units and they're sending them in now. And even though they're not in combat, they're still being shot up by the tower, so I'm still losing, guys. Where are they at? This battle's confusing me. I don't see them on the map anywhere. I see some right there. Oh. There they are. But again, it won't let me move my map, my, what's it called, camera anywhere. I thought I turned off restricted camera before I started this. I probably shouldn't be running my guys a lot, but I want to get them all, all the enemy killed before the AI comes in here and kills a bunch of my guys. 